So I got this um, fun little toy robot hand as a Christmas present this year. And I thought I would uh, check it out and put it together and uh, see what it does. So, that's what I got. Parts, this big bag. And in here it looks like I've got some gears gears and a motor. It looks like this is going to make a little gearbox somewhere. Okay. Interesting. Some fingers. Spring. battery compartment. Alright. Alright, let's look at the directions. Let's see what we got here. Looks pretty simple. All right, we're gonna start out with this piece here. Starting out with the motor right away. So, all right. So, on the motor's gonna go in there. Looks like it's wires down. Okay. P, which is this, and a pin. It's going to go right in here. Okay, number two, we need another pin. The pin will go here. The smaller gear goes in. And this goes in the end. All right, got a little gearbox going on. Now we can close that up. And we need these screws. things lined up. Let's take a look. Nope. Things popped apart. Let's start over. We have this. again. I guess got to make sure the, these pins are in these holes and maybe I didn't have them seated well. There we go. Now we're good. Alright. Right. There's three screws to hold this housing together. This gearbox. Next thing we're gonna do after I get these three screws in, it looks like this gearbox is gonna be fit into the palm here. Okay, looks like it's gonna go just like this. Like that. With a screw holding it on.
All right, so that's in place. Now, we are gonna, oh, look at this. That's how everything's connected. <laughs> no soldering needed or anything. Okay. That's hilarious. Okay. So the red is going to go into this hole along with the red into this hole. And what they're doing is they just have these little push connector that forces the wire up against the metal outside of this hole and it makes a connection. And I just have to do the same thing over here. Stick these little wires in here and then put the push pin in. And it will hold them in place. Of course it's like I need to have it feels like I need to have an extra hand. Alright. That should make the connection. All right, so now those are wired. And we're going to take this. We're going to attach it onto here. And take the other side here. This is going to go like this. I didn't realize there was a big wheel on this thing. Oh, that's what that is. Okay, this thing's the wheel, so it's like right in the wrist area. There's a big wheel, and I guess that's what's going to drive the fingers opening and closing. This motor in here is going to turn this wheel. Alright, and that's it. This doesn't do anything, but okay. Whatever, dude. Whatever. Okay. Now. All right. Take this and C. <laughs> okay. I guess these, the two fingers that look alike, which are which? Oh, do they have markings on them? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay, C a little bit longer has a triangle on it needs to see so they are gonna go number two and number three here like that okay and then D which are these go on either side of those okay Not sure. Just have to see. Oh wow. Okay. And then Oh wow, this is crazy. Alright, I can see what's gonna happen here. This is a weird toy. Alright. <laughs> Alright, so these things get secured down. This is nothing like what I thought it was going to be. This is hilarious. I'm going to make sure I keep this thing in camera so you can see what the heck I'm doing. Alright. Oh wow. Okay, so you can, you can set up different programs on here to move the fingers differently. And all it's going to do is activate these fingers. There's no grip. There's no nothing. It's just like this. Robot hand. Come on. <laughs> this one doesn't even fall. So, it's kind of like a music box. I guess, uh, I guess this thing just sits here. Thumb doesn't do anything. It's just decorative. This is, this is far from a robot hand, but okay, whatever, cool. All right, let me see that. Do I have some? Uh, 
cut these a lot easier. I'm just going to do it. No, I need to have some nippers from my 3D printer. Yeah, this will do it. All right, so you just put these in different patterns into the different slots. And all it's going to do is activate the fingers. This is weird. So as the paddle goes down, it's kind of like a, gosh, like a cuckoo clock and how it uh, activates the different mallets that ring the uh, different notes. It's, it's pretty much the same thing. This is like a, like the chimes of a, of a clock. This is, this is going to be weird. <laughs> but we're going to do, we're going to do this. It's, we're going to do some like sequential thing. Yeah. Each one of these has its own channel. And there. So what I just programmed in is something that looks like this. And I just gotta get some batteries in this and I will be right back. One second. Okay, so I thought there were double A's. I went and got double A's. They don't work. These are triple A's. So this thing may start up on me as I'm doing this. And if it does, there's a switch right here. Nope. Okay. So, we'll put the battery compartment on, we'll screw it on into place, get it all ready to go, and we'll see if this thing actually moves. This is the farthest thing from an actual robot hand. This is hilarious. Okay, so here we go. Here, move this thing out of the way. It's debut. Let's see what happens here. Anything? <laughs> All, right. All right, so what I can do then is to make this continuous, we're going to pause, I'll add a few more of these. Start the sequence over again. Okay. All right, so it'll be continuous. So that's, now it'll be continuous like this. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> All right, well there you have it. This is, um, Kids Robotics Motorized Robot Hand. It's time for some finger tapping fun. Compose a rhythm and program this amazing robot hand to play it for you. So, yeah, you could program a rhythm. Put these, these paddles in different positions. <laughs> yep. Well, that was fun. All right, time to get back to the real robots. <laughs> Catch you later. Take care.